It's true, time is money. There isn't a single person who doesn't want to maximize their time and complete their tasks as quickly or as efficiently as possible. Unfortunately, when it comes to shopping, there are not many tools that can help us make the most of our time. According to a survey by Addis, roughly 32 million consumers shop at a grocery store on any typical weekday, and this number increases over weekends. Regardless of whether a shopper is looking for a specific item, or if they are wandering throughout the store, the average shopper spends 41 minutes each week buying groceries. When you factor in the amount of time needed to create a shopping list, budgeting, and driving to and from the store, this time can easily increase to two to three hours. This time-consuming necessity got us thinking, how can we solve this problem? How can we help the everyday consumer be more productive with their time? Being an engineering student, I always wondered how about to improve these tasks by using the technology we have these days. It gave me the idea, why not introduce a system that would combine all the solutions to shopping and make the entire process of going and buying items less agonizing. From the design aspect, we combine shopping processes such as locating an item or doing a self-checkout into one system. And instead of using the traditional barcode scanning method, we use the RFID technology to scan the products into the device. So what we would have is tags like this that would go onto the product and once the reader reads the tag, it will show on the touchscreen display. So all in all, once the device is created, we could call it a self-checkout on wheels. So one of the most important features of this application was the lookup item feature. And as we all know, the stores are growing bigger and bigger with every passing day. And most of the user's time is spent on finding the item as opposed to buying it. Our solution allows user to locate and access the items efficiently. And uh, not only we wanted our system to be efficient, but also user-friendly. So we designed it in a way that uh, the system is self-explanatory and uh, people from every age group will have no problem whatsoever in using it. Everyone uses a smartphone application these days, so we wanted to implement one which will assist shoppers and enhance their shopping experience at the same time. By downloading the Shop Smart application, a user will be able to scroll through the list of items as they'll have the access to the entire store inventory and should they forget any item that they wanted to add, they won't have to make a new list. A user can simply add the items by a simple touch of a button to the existing list. Now, having this list created, they will also be able to import this list onto the shopping cart. On one hand, we have a shopping list coming from the smartphone app. And on the other hand, we have a shop smart system up and running. We had to integrate both of these solutions together instead of having two standalone systems. Our team came up with this idea of transferring the shopping list from the app to the system using the Wi-Fi. The system will compare the items in the cart and the items in the list, and the list will be updated accordingly. So to implement our design, we wanted to use the cradle-to-cradle -cradle principle. It, with this, we wanted to maintain zero waste by using materials that can be easily decomposed and reused. From the basic concept on a piece of paper to the actual implementation of a prototype, it took us a considerable number of hours. But in the end, it all worked out fine. So every single time I came up with an idea or a design change, I'd call upon a team meeting and discuss with everyone on the team how they liked the idea and how it, we would go about implementing it. So I've really had a great time working on the project and the, the experience was great. And it was really fun to implement all that you have learned over the past few years and implement it into a single project. 
Uh, we have had our high and low points throughout the project, uh, but we did make sure that we overcome our differences and uh, work together as a team to pull this off and we're pretty proud of it that we were able to do it. So at the beginning, we were really, really good at staying on schedule, but once exams and projects came, it just became super challenging to stay on track. Thankfully, with Zargon pushing us and getting a lot of breaks with foosball, we were able to actually stay on track and meet all of them. On one hand, we have a shelf, we have a smartphone app. To do this, we use materials such as ABS plastic. Implementation of the prototype it took a considerable number of hours, but it all worked out. <laughs> we're pretty proud of it that we were able to do it. Nice. Where did that come from? <laughs> <laughs>